This video is a request by Disco Bear and Minty. Enjoy. And thank you to all of you for 300 subscribers. Good morning class. Today we are learning about science and social. Leo, why in the world did you take your shoes off? And why are your socks on your desk? Those socks smell like Fritos. Wow, I can smell those from a mile away. What the hell is your problem, Leo? I know, right? I can smell those all the way from here. Why are your socks on your desk? Why are your socks on your desk? Okay, Mr. Edgar, I can explain. I was just about to put my socks and shoes back on because they fell off. But then I got shocked by everyone complaining about the smell. Excuses, excuses. If you were trying to put your shoes and socks back on, they would have been on seconds ago. Now tell me, why are your socks on your desk? Okay, Mr. Edgar, I can explain. The reason why I took my socks and shoes off is because my feet got sweaty and needed to breathe. My shoes and socks were filled with sweat, so I took them off. Please forgive me, I am sorry. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. You know that taking your socks and shoes off is not allowed in school. That's gross. Every kid in this school should know to keep their shoes on at all times. What in the world made you want to do that? This classroom smells like sweaty gym socks, all thanks to you. That's it. Go to Dr. Frederick's office right now, or you're expelled. Oh, would you look at that? One of the worst troublemakers in Go City is in my office. Leonardo Einstein, what brings you here today? Okay, Dr. Frederick, I can explain. While I was in class today, I took my socks and shoes off because my feet got sweaty and they needed to breathe. I put my socks on my desk and they started to stink up the classroom and made people complain. And because I thought I wouldn't get in trouble, I lied to my teacher by saying I was just trying to put them back on because they fell off. The teacher then started yelling at me and was losing his patience with me. So the teacher sent me to your office. And here I am. In your office, worried about what is about to happen. Please forgive me, I am sorry. Oh my god. Leonardo Einstein. How dare you take your socks and shoes off in school? You know way better than that. You know, this problem isn't really surprising, because your parents told me all about how you caused trouble at home. You caused trouble at both, away from home and at home. Every kid in this school should know to leave their shoes on at all times. But I guess you're not one of those kids. You're the exact opposite. You cause pain and misery for all of those around you. You're being a gray cloud and raining on everyone. That's it. You are suspended for 12 weeks. Go home right now. And I am calling your parents. Leo, how dare you take your socks and shoes off in school and stink up the entire classroom? You know way better than that. You know, it is very surprising that neither Quincy Annie or June did anything bad for once. It was just you this time. But if we get another phone call about something else like this, we will put a belt on your behind. Do you want that to happen? No, Grandma. Then fix this. Work on yourself. It is really not that hard to be a good kid. If you work on yourself and stop raining on everyone around you with pain and misery, you won't have to worry about a thing. Do you understand me? Yes, Grandma. We have all had enough of your stupid games. We are ready for better days. Better yourself. You always have to turn a good time into a bad time. You always rain on people's parades. You always replace sunny weather with rainy weather. Now do you want me, or you, to fix this? I will do it. Okay, good. And by the way, you will still be grounded. That's it. You are grounded until your suspension is over. March upstairs to your room right now.